Hey everybody, this is Matt here. We have been getting a number of questions about cards in the Foundry Torg Eternity system and how they will work once we get version 0.9 of Foundry. And uh, obviously we've been hard at work trying to get these cards ready to go when the time comes for version 0.9 of Foundry to release because 0.9 has official built-in card support in the Foundry system. And we're no longer, no longer going to have to rely on unofficial card support, although it was a great uh, option for us uh, up until this point. So I thought I'd just quickly kind of show you how we've got cards working in version 9 so that you can know what to expect when it arrives. The first thing that you need to know about cards in version 9 is that there's a tab that's over here in the control panel that is specific for card stacks. And if I click on that, then we end up getting a listing of all of the different decks that are available in the Torg Eternity system. Now these decks do need to maintain these very specific names in order for the, everything to work properly with the system. So while you can change the contents of the decks, you uh, should not be changing the names of any of these things including the the stack that's called Active Drama Card. That will become important for reasons we'll talk about in a minute. And then you can see down at the bottom, you can see the hands for the different characters that are at play in the game right now. Uh, just to give you an idea about what the decks look like, if you open up one of these decks, what you'll see is a listing of all the cards that are contained in the deck. There is a column here that shows whether that card is currently drawn or not. And then there's some controls over on the right side that will let you add cards, edit cards, delete cards. You can do that as much as you want to on any of these decks. Again, like I said a minute ago, just make sure that the deck has the proper name, that you have a Destiny deck and a Drama deck, and then the Cosm decks with the particular realm names associated specifically with them. You need that in order for the system to be able to work with those decks. So what the player is going to see is a, a player hand screen. And there's two ways to open that. One is you can open the player hand screen from the card stack right here. The other way is from the character sheet, there will be an open hand button in the upper right hand corner of it. You click that open hand button and that brings up the hand for that particular character. And there's a series of controls that are within this window. I went ahead and left the face controls in because they were all there and available under the Foundry system. I don't know that anybody's ever going to use these that much, but you can change uh, to the back. If you want to see the back of a card, the thumbnail back, you can do that using these controls. Then the next thing over is you have thumbnails of each of the cards. If you hover over the thumbnail, you get a nice big picture of the card where it can quickly and easily be referenced exactly what the content in that card is. We have the title of the card, the type of card, and then uh, to put a card in or out of a pool, a uh, destiny card, you're going to check a box right here. There are then some controls over here on the right hand side that let you do various things with your cards. Uh, you press play to basically it's going to discard the card and put a message in chat that the card has been played. There is the uh, display button that if you hit, it's going to display a picture of that card for all the players in the game to see. There is a pass to another player option, which you hit that, and then you select the player or the discard pile where you want to send the card, and it will send it straight over there. And then there's the discard uh, button, which directly discards the card into the proper stack. Down at the bottom... Uh, you will hit this button to draw a Destiny card, and you'll hit this button to draw a Cosm card. So just to give you an example, I'll draw a Cosm card right now from the Core Earth Cosm deck. And it looks like we got the Keep Fighting card right here. Uh, if I want to discard that, I just hit the discard button, and there it goes. It's vanished from the hand. And the other thing that you'll notice when you discard 
uh, is that you will also get a message when somebody discards something, you'll get a message for that in chat. The same thing will happen if uh, I were to play a card, let's say, now we've got the rousing speech card here. If I play the rousing speech card, there it is. There's an indication in chat that rousing speech was played. So let's talk briefly about uh, what happens in combat because we also have some changes that have, made, being, have been made to the combat tracker. And to do that, let's put a werewolf into this scene with these three heroes. So I'm gonna click over here on the combat tracker and you're gonna see right now there's no active encounter. We just see the back of a drama card up at the top of the combat tracker. But if I highlight all of these characters, the heroes and the villains, and then right click on any one of them and click on toggle combat state right here to put them into a combat, we get a potential combat that is put together here for us involving these characters. I can then add and remove even more to them if I want. But when I'm ready to begin, I'm going to click on this button right here. And what you'll notice up top is that we've now, we've drawn a card off of the drama deck. We've drawn the you, your thrown back card off of the drama deck and we've displayed it up at the top of the combat tracker. So this will be the card that's used for this round. And if we go over to our card stacks that we started this session out with and we look in the active drama pile, you'll see that the Your Thrown Back card is shown in that pile. Let's put it into that one. That's how the system knows that it's the particular card that needs to be displayed uh, right here in this particular spot. You can swap out any card you want to from the discard pile or from the deck and put it in here. So if you have some timing issue or you have a card that gets played that lets the characters go back and pull in a previous card, you're able to do that just by substituting the card that's in the active, active drama pile, active drama card pile. So uh, if we want to advance to another round in this encounter and we want to get a new drama card, We'll click on the new button down here and that will advance us to round two and you'll see we've drawn a new drama card up here at the top. If we want to go to a new round and we want to keep the drama card, we can click this button and then to end the combat, we'll click uh, the end button over here. Now, one another thing that's going to happen as you're playing out a combat is you're going to be able to see what cards are in other players' pools. And let's just open up Thomas's hand right now. We see he's got a coup de grace, an action, and he's got two supporters. So let's suppose in his first round, he decides he wants to place the supporter card in his pool. All he's going to do is click on the in pool checkbox here to put the supporter card in his pool. And then you'll see over here in the combat tracker where all the players will have access to that. We can see that he now has the supporter card in his pool. If he wants to go on after that and add action and coup de gras, he can add those and you'll see that the description of what's in his pool is going to be updated over here. So all the players at any given time are going to see what cards are in other players' pools, which uh, has been a a fairly highly requested feature that we've been dealing with. Uh, you'll notice that if we go back to the card stacks, in the meantime, uh, we'll have now, we've got several different cards in the, the drama discard pile here, including the year thrown back that we were using just now. And then we've got uh, the old chestnut is in the active drama pile. Let's suppose for whatever reason we don't want that old chestnut in play right now. We want your thrown back instead. We can drag that old chestnut over into the drama discard. We can drag your thrown back over into the active drama card. And if we go look at the combat checker, we do have to refresh it. We're going to have to re refresh it, but we get the year thrown back that is displayed at that point. So that you may sometimes have to hit this refresh button to get manual changes that you've made taken care of. But you can drag and drop between all of these different card stacks and 
get the cards uh, rearranged and wherever you need them to if you need to create or correct some kind of a mistake. So those are the basics of how card play is, and the update to the combat tracker have been set up in the new system. Uh, we're really looking forward to getting this into players' hands. We're thinking, we don't have anything official from Foundry yet, but we're thinking probably sometime in the next few weeks, maybe before the end of November, uh, certainly before the end of December, we're expecting to see version 9. So stay tuned and hopefully we'll have everybody using the new card system soon.